Good morning, folks. She's back. It's marvellous Monday on the Isle of Lewis. It is stormy, windy, rainy, hiding in the greenhouse. Perfect spot to be in. And today's tune of the day is a march. And it's really well known Scottish march. It's called the Barren Rocks of Aden. And it's a perfect way to start the week and get you out of your bed and get up and march. Quick march. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. I really hope that you are all well and um, that you have a marvellous week. But if you'd like to hear more, carry on listening. Um, someone was asking about all my accidents and would I tell some of them? And I just had so many. I was just, my childhood was a series of accidents, really one after the other. I was completely reckless, didn't have a fear button and really didn't care. You know, I just, I would try things and stuff the consequences you know just deal with them when they came and some of them like I broke my arm bareback riding over jumps on a horse I broke my leg loading a calf for market into a horse trailer and it came out with me underneath the ramp um, I one of the accidents I had that didn't involve broken bones was a group of us went tree climbing I got to the top of this huge big beech tree I think I was 30 foot up in the air very delighted at how far I got, called to the others to look at me <laughs> and at the same time put all my weight in a rotten stump and down I came, knocked myself unconscious, just missed a fence by millimetres, a barbed wire fence and was rushed off to hospital of course in the mattress in the back of the car, down the field, pick her up, off we go, got to the hospital and got everything sorted out, turned out I hadn't broken my arm, it was just the equivalent of without the bones being broken it takes as long to heal but I remember saying to the doctor but the worst thing is my calf it's really really sore and she took a look and she was like no no it's just a graze but obviously what had happened was a splinter from that rotten stump had got in and within 10 or 12 days my from my ankle to my knee was just a solid purple uh, infected mass and it took weeks and weeks and weeks of this really expensive poultice to try and draw out all the infection but it was over summer and um, you know I just couldn't not go swimming in rivers and things so I would be wrapping up with cling film and carrying on regardless and um, <laughs> yeah and I still have a huge big hole in my calf uh, today just took a big chunk off half the leg out with it but I'm um, so many more but that's enough for this morning i reckon i hope you're all having a great week have a great day take care look after yourselves and um, i hope you enjoyed the the midsummer skit of me and gary in the skyline that was fun and i had a great lion thank you for all those who wished me a good lion i did wake up at half past six but i turned over and went back to sleep um, it was really nice but it feels like a week since i last did one of these it's bizarre so, bye for now. <laughs>